And so the disciples returned to Jerusalem, as Jesus had told them, and they were staying in an upper room. They were joined by Mary, Jesus' mother, his brothers, and many other believers, 120 altogether. They met constantly there to pray. And then came the time of Pentecost. It was a feast where people from all around the world gathered in Jerusalem to celebrate together. And on the day of Pentecost, they were all together in the upper room and there came a sound, a sound like a mighty rushing wind from heaven that filled the whole place where they were. And then came fire. It seemed like tongues of fire that separated and rested on each of them. And all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. And being filled with the Holy Spirit, each person had the ability to speak in a new language, a language that they had never learned. And so they were declaring the mighty works of God in many different languages. And those in the city wondered what was happening. They could hear all this noise. And then they realized that each of them could hear their own language being spoken. And yet these were people from Galilee. They were bewildered. How was this happening? Some of the people even thought they'd been drinking and they'd had too much wine. So Peter stood up and spoke to the crowd and said, We're not drunk, as you're thinking. It's only very early in the morning. This is the Holy Spirit, the promise that God said he would pour out on all people. And he spoke to them about Jesus and the miracles that he performed and how he was put to death on a cross and yet God raised him again. And the crowd listened and said, what should we do? And Peter replied, change your life. Turn to God and be baptised, each of you, in the name of Jesus. So your sins will be forgiven and you too will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The gift is for you, promise for you and your children and to all those who are far away. Many in the crowd believed the message that Peter gave. They chose to turn away from their old life to be baptised in water. And they too received the gift of the Holy Spirit. And that day about 3,000 were added to their group.